Hey guys, Pat Ryarkey here, also known as the Patriarchy. So, they've tried to stop Trump with uh, Russia um, allegations. They tried to stop Trump with uh, protests and the Women's March and everything. Uh, you know, speeches at award shows, the actors have done videos. Um, every single thing in the world that could be attempted, for the most part, they've attempted to shut Trump down. Um, but not this. No, no, not this yet. Um... I thought this was a joke. I thought this was like an Onion article, but this is actually real. It's from BBC News. Um, witches cast mass spell against Donald Trump. You can't make this kind of stuff up, people. I love living in America. I really do. It's fucking great. Most of Donald Trump's opponents believe they will have to wait four more years to see him leave the White House. But America's witches are more optimistic. <laughs> America's witches, our little witch club we have. They're very optimistic at their meetings. At the stroke of midnight on Friday, followers of witchcraft across the U.S. performed a mass spell designed to remove the president from office. Oh my goodness, this is some hocus pocus shit, man. A Facebook group devoted to the ritual has attracted over 10,500 likes and coined the hashtag Magic resistance. Oh, good for you. Clever name. 10,500 likes. Wow. Those are big numbers. <laughs> I I don't know why. I, I hope these people don't actually believe this stuff, but they probably do. Like, very literally. Like, if they were just fucking around, it would be cool. But I feel like they take this stuff pretty seriously. Uh, I mean, at least the other people who protest Trump are like pretentious assholes. This is kind of amusing. There's a, there's a comedic aspect to this. Maybe the magician community should protest Trump and do like they pull like a like a, a rabbit out of a hat with the Trump wig on. The development has sparked fury among Christian conservatives who have accused the witches of declaring spiritual war. Yeah, the conservatives are all over the news talking about these 10,500 liked group on Facebook. Writer Michael Hughes who describes himself as a magical thinker, posted a version of the spell online, saying he had seen multiple versions on private witchcraft groups. Private witchcraft. <laughs> oh, man. It's so funny. In it, he suggests using a stubby orange candle, an unflattering picture of Mr. Trump, and a, tar a tower tarot card. Tarot cards are used all over the world to assist in magic rituals. Followers, are magic, followers of magic are told to carve the president's name into the candle using a pen, recite an incantation, and then burn his picture in the flame. You're fired. The words of the spell include a plea to Wiccan deities to blind Donald J. Trump so that his malignant works may fail utterly and so that he shall not break our polity, usurp our liberty, or fill our minds with hate, confusion, fear, or, or despair. Mr. Trump's supporters don't escape either, as the spell asks that their malicious tongues be curbed too. Oh god, they're fascist witches. Damn it, there's nothing I hate more than a fascist witch. Mr. Hughes suggests that instead of normal closing line, so mote it be, witches could burn the former apprentice's host image with the words, you're fired. The writer said he published details of the spell because he felt it would be very welcome to a lot of people. Under the tenets of witchcraft, a blinding spell does not wish harm on its target, but aims to stop them from doing harms themselves. This is not the equivalent of magically punching a Nazi. Oh boy, we get, we're get we going back to the punching Nazi things. Even in the witch community, they talk about the Nazi punching. Richard Spencer, man, you're everywhere, bro. They're even talking about you at the witch stuff. I mean, that's impressive. You're like the little kid the witches try to give the chocolate to in that movie. Mr. Hughes wrote, rather, it's the ripping the bullhorn from his hand, smashing his phone so he can't tweet tying him up and throwing him in a dark basement where he can't hurt anyone? Jesus Christ. These people are scary. Mary Pat Azevedo, who took part in the ritual in Arizona, said she saw the ritual as a unity prayer. She told the BBC, a true witch would never cast a spell on anyone without their permission. 
the prayer is for well-being and peace for all beings. Well, you have my permission to cast spells on me, witches, because I don't believe in your bullshit. I, I think it's because you actually have no powers. You're not actually spiritual or have any kind of magical power, so I think that's why you, you don't care if people ask you or not permission. I, I think it's probably because it doesn't work. Uh, th this will show them. Maybe the actors from Fag are going to talk to uh, to um, to the witches, and they're working on a deal together to stop Trump. Miss uh, Azevedo said she hopes to see physical, emotional, and spiritual changes in Donald Trump and American politics. Urgent warning: Participating witches plan to repeat the spell on days when there is a warning. A crescent moon until Mr. Trump leaves the Oval Office. The next ritual is set for 26th of March. Yeah, it's right before my birthday. Perhaps, unsurprisingly, some of the president's followers are less than thrilled. <laughs> Joshua uh, Furstein, an uh, evangelical pastor who has previously condemned Starbucks for taking Christmas symbols off its seasonal red cups, issued an urgent warning saying millions of witches were trying to curse the president. Their bibbity bibbity boo isn't more powerful than the name of Jesus, he declared in an online video. Their bibbity bibbity boo. Well, dude, I agree with you, really. Jesus' words do have more power. I mean, people actually get killed and stuff over Jesus still, you know. There's still, like, divides over that stuff. I mean, I don't think anyone really gives a fuck about witches, like, at all anymore. The Christian Nationalist Alliance, a conservative religious group, named 24 February a day of prayer to counter the magical fraternity. So they're going to fight their prayer with their prayer. Holy shit, there's a prayer battle going on over Donald Trump, people. This is fucking amazing. Fuck other presidents. They did not have prayer battles going on. We are next level carry Akira type shit. In a post online, it called the witches occultists who want to summon dark spirits against Mr. Trump, like the vagina smoke monster from Game of Thrones. The group said it will urge people to pray every time the spellcasters reach for their candles. Alright, so if you're a Christian out there, every time a witch starts to go for the candle, start praying. Thus far, Trump has failed to comment on the battle between Bible and Broomstick. So, uh, I saw this thing about the witches. Not very impressive. Worst witches I've ever seen. Terrible. Just terrible. We're going to get better witches. Uh, this is fucking Hogwarts. I mean, this is... You know, these are the people that took Harry Potter too seriously. I talk about how the left is obsessed with Harry Potter. These are the people that like Harry Potter too much because they start to think Hogwarts is real. And J.K. Rowling can actually bestow onto them magical powers that they can use to defeat Voldemort. It doesn't work that way. You want to defeat Trump, go vote. Uh, and, and do stuff like that, you know, but if you're just gonna, um, bitch and try to cast spells on him, which is laughably retarded beyond words, this is one of the funniest things I've read in a long time, because this just can't, this, the, the fact they take this seriously on any level, holy shit, um, but, uh, I, I just can't, I mean, oh my god, it's just beautiful, um, they, they put a spell on me, what can I say, I'm charmed by these witches, these, uh, bitches and witches, um, not much to say here. What do you guys think? Are you a witch? Do you relate to the witch community? Do you understand what they're doing? Um, are you going to battle them with the power of prayer? Uh, this is the patriarchy. Like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the Academy Awards. I'm sure Fag's going to put on a really good show for us.